Back to the coronavirus pandemic, and he's accused of scamming more than a million dollars from a COVID relief federal loan program. And tonight we're learning more about how prosecutors say he pulled it off. Channel 2 consumer investigator Bill Spencer takes you inside this alleged scheme, how he got caught, and what's being done to take down even more scammers. Sir, this is a Rolex. This is the finest timepiece money can buy. It's all 18 karat gold. A shopping spree for luxury items and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars in just a matter of days. That's what federal prosecutors say this man, 29-year-old Lee Price III of Houston, did immediately after receiving more than $1.6 million by defrauding an emergency COVID-19 relief program called the Paycheck Protection Program. It's a loan program specifically designed to help struggling small business owners pay their workers. But prosecutors say Price defrauded the program by applying for five different loans at five different banks in Boston, Salt Lake City, Oklahoma City, Charlotte, and San Francisco, all to obtain money for non-existent companies that had no employees. The Small Business Administration oversees the program. With uh, Mr. Lee uh, inappropriately using those funds, that's one less business uh, that wasn't able to, you know, utilize those funds as they could have. That one business could have been the Imagine Me Academy. Brandy Woods is the owner who applied for $40,000 through the PPP loan program, but was initially turned down. Not only was I devastated, I was faced with the fact that I may have to tell my employees and the families we served that our doors was going to have to close. It was one of the most horrible days of my life and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. And when she heard about Lee Price receiving more than a million bucks in fraudulent loans meant to rescue legitimate business owners like her, she was stunned. You know, for this man to just literally snatch that money from companies who need it, um, it's deplorable. According to the official criminal complaint against Lee Price III, he started spending that PPP money almost immediately on incredibly lavish items, including $233,000 on a Lamborghini Urus like this one. And that was just the beginning of his spending spree. Prosecutors say Price spent another $14,000 on a Rolex watch, $2,500 on two Houston nightclubs, $2,000 at a local strip club, and more than $100,000 to lease a brand new office in Memorial City. It saddens me that it happens, but you got to expect it's going to happen when with such a big program, there's going to be fraud involved. Jerry Tonopol is an SBA loan specialist at Community Bank. One lender in the Northeast did over 100,000 applications. He says the problem is that some banks actually paid to get as many loan applications as they possibly could. I know for a fact that bank took it from three online platforms. So people would go into the platform, they'd apply for their loan, and then that bank would pay that platform a commission for getting the loan done for them. Lee Price III now faces several federal charges, including making false statements to a financial institution, wire fraud, and bank fraud. If convicted, he could serve more than 30 years in prison. On our website right now, we have the stories of six other people also accused of scamming the PPP loan program out of millions of dollars. And federal prosecutors are planning to charge more individuals in the months ahead. I'm Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 Investigates.